Number 12 then from the 2015 New Hire Paper 1. Just a little two mark question. Really this one's just that sort of plain words that you get. It shows you this, but it's not actually asking you for the value of those parameters in that equation there, what A and B are. It just says, if, in this graph, that shaded area is half a square unit, what is, and this is a keyword, what's the value of this? Well, one feature of the sinusoidal waveforms of the sines and cosines are each of the quarter parts are symmetrical. Each of those parts are simply the same template as each other. So if that's half a square unit, so is that, and so is that. But this doesn't ask you for the area, it just asks you for the value of the integral. And the integral simply carries out a piece of arithmetic. Adding up, if you like, all the little rectangles that make up the parts, so that these would all be positive amounts, but these would be negative amounts. So by the time you'd got to here, all of these would have cancelled out all of those, and you'd be back to zero. If it said, what's the area altogether from zero to three pi upon four, then you could say, yes, the areas are perceived shapes, a half and a half and a half would be three upon two. But as far as the integrals concerned, that's just a piece of emotionless calculation that adds up the positives and the negatives. So if that's a half, that would be negative a half, and that would be negative a half. So overall, this would just come to negative a half. Notice it's not negative a half units squared, because it's just saying what's the value of the integral. It's not asking you to interpret that as an area. Now, it's two marks. You could just put this down. I suppose that would do for the working, if you like. The working, I suppose, maybe should have been put down as that should equal, integrating all the way from 0 to 3 pi upon 4, should equal a half, and then minus a half, and then minus a half, that would be the first mark, and then minus a half for the second mark.